Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now late August and I'm giggling already because I'm nervous. Um, <laughs> I think adding um, Maze Plus to our series with this many animals on has made this suddenly so hard. I've had a little bit of feedback already about Maze Plus and what we need to do and I had, I did end up going off and um, watching some videos uh, by Disturbed Simulation. I knew he'd put some up. I was just putting off watching them, you know, sort of stumble my way through, find out some stuff, let the community get back in touch and uh, we'd figure this all out together. But it turns out, hmm, our cows at least, or all of our animals, but especially our cows, are going to require 10 times the amount of feed that they were already getting through. Now, they're going to you know, repay us by being so much more productive with regards to milk, manure and slurry. But, that's a lot. That is a hell of a lot. Um, I was listening to uh, Disturbed's guide to cows with maize plus and he you know he said more than like a hundred two hundred cows and you're gonna struggle and <laughs> we've already got 500 cows <laughs> now I'm just gonna start this up we're gonna have our worker hopefully continue on with the uh, seed for us today so if I Pop that down there. They should just get on with it. Hopefully they'll remember to put the tram lines in and all will go well. We've got a little overlap so they'll be closer. We've got a double headland. They shouldn't take out the straw at the top. If they do, they do. We can't be worrying about that. Because we've got these animals to worry about. Our chickens aren't eating because they've not got enough of anything. And it looks like we're going to need to mix all of our crops. We need uh, barley, wheat, we need soybeans, we need sunflowers, we need beets or potatoes because we need to make uh, chopped uh, beets, potatoes, all that good stuff. Where's my... Where's my other tractor? We've got one set up somewhere ready to do some mowing. Not mowing, some wind rowing. And I don't think we need as much grass silage. From what I gather, the the robot feeders are not going to be able to maintain no matter what we do. They're just not going to be able to do it. But they're all I've got for now. So we're going to have to try and work with them. Um, start this up. So you're going to, it's going to be a case of working with what we got for a little while. But it's added an exciting... Uh, <laughs> exciting twist to this tail. Back down, come on. There we go. Turn it on. Actually, I think I've already set up a route on here for course play. I haven't. Let's set up a route for course play. Uh, da -da -da -da. That should be alright, actually. Yeah, we'll go with that. Start the job. So hopefully they'll correct up. They'll be fine. All good. Right, that's that done. So we've got more of a rush now to get grass. We're going back to hammering out grass jobbies. So I need to dig this up today. We're gonna, gonna cultivate that ourselves. We'll cultivate that ourselves. We're going to plough that up ourselves. Now we'll use the subsoil for that. Then we'll pop to the store and we'll get a proper plough for digging up everything else because we can't uh, create fields with the subsoiler. So I'm just going to get myself uh, all sorted out now that all the machine all the workers are set up. I'll get myself sorted out and uh, we'll get stuck into some subsoil. So we've got the cavernaland on the back of the Lambo. Now I'm just going to see we can no we cannot create so we 
probably a case of finding ourselves a plow plow after we've done this. Oh, I'm so concerned about these animals now. It could come down to a case of do we need as many as we've got if they're going to be as productive as they are. I mean, the, the beavers we can just keep trying to grow and sell, grow and sell. And maybe keep them at 100 uh, once they're ready to go buy another 100. Because they're small, they don't want to need a lot of feed for a while. But eventually they will. And there's so many different feeds now, and they are named like um, beef feed and dairy feed. They, they do the same sort of thing, but they sort of represent uh, what you would feed the animals for that particular purpose. There's also um, what they call a more realistic TMR mix feed. And you can, as long as you've got two of the fundamentals, uh, you can then put in what you like to try and bulk out and build your feed up. It's, I mean, there's a lot, and we've got a lot of extra steps to take in uh, preparing uh, our feed mixes and our and our grass, and you know we may have to do some whole crop um, forage harvests and stuff like that, just to get what we need. But I think it's going to be fun. It's going to add something new now to the series uh, that added pressure. The Productions obviously are still there, they're still going to be ticking over in the background, but they are not going to be the focus. I do still need to get a pub on the map though. We want a pub for our brewery. But we need to go back to making sure that our cows are fully looked after. Now I have, since our cows weren't grazing, in one of our meadows, the dairy meadow, I've painted in uh, meadow grass to see if they'll eat that. If they're not eating that, then I've not got a forage plane in my meadow or in my um, stables. And I can look into how to add that because apparently the grass, fresh grass, uh, I, I, I was wrong. I assumed that grass would be like pot run. Fresh grass, so not the grass we've got because we've no. Um, conditioned it. If we'd have left that as fresh grass, just fresh cut, that really dark grass, if we'd have fed that to our cows, as is, like that pile there, um, apparently that will take care of two of the four food groups. So that would have been really good. And we <laughs> we had the chance to have three fields full. And since we're going to need so much, we may have to start cutting the uh, pasture grass again with the animals in. Um, we've got too many now to move, so we may have to start doing that. Which, you know, it's a little bit bit annoying, but the other option would be to buy another meadow because we're going to need the crop fields. Now we can't take away another crop field because we're going to need the different crops. We're going to need, like I say, the soybean. We're going to need corn. Um, for corn silage at least. Gonna need a root crop. It's a little bit like um, how I think pig feed used to work, where you needed a uh, different f uh, feed type. So you needed your protein, you needed your forage, you needed a root crop, you needed something else. So uh, that's exactly how these feeds work now. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a challenge. I'm up for that. Always like a challenge. That's that's, <laughs> that's what we do. We uh, we make life hard for ourselves here. But it's gonna be fun, and it's you know it's something I can stumble through. You guys can help me with it. I, I love the feedback. Admittedly, um, a few episodes in front now, uh, but I, I need to try and fill my schedule a bit. I know I've got some things coming up where um, we're going away as a family, so. There's going to be, you know, nearly a week where I'm not going to be putting or creating new videos. I need to try and get ahead a little bit so there's something there that week and for when I come back. So I'm going to try and to get ahead, but leave your comments down there and uh, I act on it as soon as I can. Um, a lot of this information that people have shared, I think Massey Farmer sh um, shared some stuff just today on today's video when it came out. 
and um, yeah, he was telling me about the grass and stuff, and that was when I, I had to check, so that was when I went and found and disturbed simulations and uh, watched some of his videos while I was uh, sorting out the boy today. Um, so yeah, that's how quick I try and react on it. It just takes a little while for you guys to see it. <laughs> but I do, if you tell me. Someone was kind enough to drop a link to a whole um, Maze Plus series. I didn't click on it. I thanked them for the link because, you know, I love that. And if I needed it, I'd go back to it. But as I knew Disturbed had one, and I knew I was trying to get the community to help out with the feedback, I didn't click on it. Um, in my head, I'm just assuming that was too disturbed, but I will go and have a look at it now that I've started looking into other things. I will go and look at your your link. Thank you very much for that. Because I do ask for people to share. Um, I just like... I'd prefer it if you shared in the comments, yeah. So, rather than send me to someone else, I'm happy for you to recite certain things back to me that you know all that you found out. And I know it's easy just to send a link. But for me, it's easier to just read your comment and uh, to be able to bring that up if need be, because I can just read that on the fly, rather than having to try and watch a video and do. And uh, like I said, I do, uh, I do go and watch some anyway. Now another thing we may need to do, or, or one of two things, could be a choice that we do is add a fourth day to our month so that we have an extra day to get the processes done because there's going to be a lot more to do and again I don't have to show all that if it's just a day where I'm just out mowing grass I can just show bits of me mowing the fields and then we can do the next steps of the work and stuff like that so that's an option or we go down to I think time six that might afford us a bit more time but we'll see we'll see how we do for a while um, with our three day months on times ten because I'm enjoying that I think that's working at a pretty decent pace for getting stuff done so yeah so it's, it's gonna be tough now this is going to be quite a long process me just doing this, so I'll probably just try and crack on with it and uh, get back to you guys once it's done because I'm going to need to keep an eye on my uh, wind roller and move them about if they get finished So I will do a time lapse because it'll get cut short at times. But I'll see you once I've finished uh, subsoiling. The subsoiling is complete. Our worker has moved on to uh, windrow the empty sheep pasture for now. And again, I'll just point out we're not getting any grazing. And even in the one that I've just painted grass in, we're not getting grazing there. So, yeah, we're not getting that feature. I'm not 100% certain why. I mean, it has to has to be to do with uh, the uh, forage um, mesh as it is. Like I say, it's something I could look into. Now, although our robot feeder cannot really maintain our cows enough, we've got a lot of silage in there and we've got a lot of straw in there. So rather than waste it, just leave that sitting there. I'm going to try and put some more hay in until they're until that's empty. Once that's emptied out, we'll probably stop using the robot feeders. And with the sheer quantities we're going to need, again, as much as I love the, uh, the Keenan, I don't think it's got the capacity we need to maintain uh, 500 cows. We're going to be making feed, or I'm going to be making feed <laughs> all night at the end of every video at that rate. Hopefully that takes them. Yep, that's going in. Okay. Although, by the looks of it, the silage in the straw has gone down quite a bit. 
uh, well, 184,000 and 113,000, and we've just put in 29,000. But that will top them up. This morning, uh, at 6 o'clock, instead of getting 30,000 for milk, we got 5. They're just not fed enough to produce, unfortunately. Now, we could put some of this in the actual um, feed trough. We could do that and see if that gives us a better result. I'm not sure now with Maze Plus where hay sits as feed. Probably right near the bottom. And I'm not sure if we can just feed them silage because the grass that we've got is only really good for silage now. So I want this, this in there. We're far enough down now. Hopefully they will... Oh, I forget the uh, physics in the world of giants. It's always a thing. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, they've got something. They're being fed. I can't have... The cow's not being fed and the robot is now on the go because of the hay we put in. So the robot works, it just doesn't work efficiently enough to uh, sustain a lot. Let's try and get a few more. I just want to get some feed in there. <laughs> I can't have starving cows. Because I don't think the conditioned grass is going to do as much for them. Now we can see, once we've done this, um, what on their um, feed chart, what has uh, improved and what hasn't. You can have a look at that. That bale's not in position. The whole, the whole trough area here needs to be the trigger. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Never happy, am I? Oh, such a grumpy old man. Well, I thought the robot kicked in. Perhaps it was just a... Uh, it wouldn't have done what it's not on the hour. It was just a texture change as we drew through. It should kick in, we've seen it kick in. Anyway, let's have a little look at their feed. So it's the, uh, pretty much the Holsteins down here. So it goes in, because it's hay, they've got a lot of roughage in there. That's not, it's not very good, is it? So grass, if it was fresh grass, I think it would fill the base and the moisture. And maybe roughage, I think it fills the top three. A little bit. Hopefully they'll just eat some of this. Right, I'm going to put these three in and then I'm going to head to the stall and uh, we're going to get a plough so we can plough up the bits around the edge of the meadow. Okay, I think I'm going to plumb on the Rostelmash DP. Now it's under ploughs, so I am assuming this is going to give me a ploughed state and that I can create fields with it. I'm going to lease it. I don't want to buy it. Uh, 700. Okay. So let's get back with that and uh, see if that'll do the job for us. And the uh, the Rostelmash DP, that is by R. Milhale. So we'll check that out. It looks like a pretty cool bit of kit. So if it does what we want it to do, then very nice. Very nice, I like. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's not mess about too much. Let's hoss on down, my friends. Hoss on down. Now, for the life of me, I cannot remember if we planted anything in this field. We didn't. Good. <laughs> this uh, is going to have to be, I think, 
beets. We have a massive beet field. Hopefully that will give us a lot and uh, we'll have to clear out one of our storage halls and just keep it loose. I'm sure we can dump beets in there and keep it loose. We hope so anyway. If not, well I really don't know what we can do. But yeah, I'm sure these these will hold uh, loose crop. Dump it in one of them, tidy up, we don't need it. All of our stuff spread about. Probably could sell some of it. Ooh, sorry. A van. Just gonna have to give a ball to some of a funny end. Back way up. Smooth, mate, smooth. Anywho, anywho. So, if I drop this down here. Oh no, not here. Let's not mess that up. I don't think we want this whole strip, do we? Back up. Just one from here. I really hope this works. I'll be so pleased. Next, this down. Then, oh, it does. Oh, it does it as two bits. Look at that. Perfect. Even better. It seems more realistic. So we'll uh, go down. That's probably going to bring up some big old stones that we don't want. I'm not sure if we have. It seems to allow for good speed as well too much speed by the looks like we've not got. See so that recommends 10. It's allowing us to just put our foot down. Whether we're supposed to do that I don't know. 10 miles an hour sounds like a lot. Don't it? So we've got to clear that area in between. I'll probably go around uh, the new meadow as well. Uh, just extend it a little bit. Let's go up. Yeah, it might not seem a lot. It might even seem a bit petty. But at the minute, every bit of fresh grass is going to count. Every bit of grass is going to count now. We've got 500 cows to feed. And they need as much feed as 5,000 cows on base. But if they can, if they can give us the milk of said five thousand cows, then it's all absolutely worth it. it. Really is. Take this middle section out. Oh, it's getting a bit bumpy. And then rocks. I know even stones in all in there now. Rocks. I feel like we're a little bit light on the back, bumping up and down like that. This is super, super efficient. Gonna put ourselves in. And I should imagine our work of the stewing, our seeding, is nearly finished. We need to take the time to look into the planter window of um, beets. We need us some beets. That's probably a little bit close to that bush than we might. Yeah, we can uh, grab a foot here. Or a, f or a couple of feet even. Uh, our course play worker should be fine. So I'll uh, take a bit off this bottom as well. I'll come back and do that. In a minute. I'll I'll get on with uh, doing me digging up. Well, we're nearly done. Uh, I'd, I'd say unless this is supposed to be part of a larger piece of equipment, the weight and the balance is uh, 
somewhat off because it drifts so much. And it allows for such, uh, you know, well, I think to be sort of excessive speed. Finding where I missed all my bits of wood when we did the, uh, the removal of the trees. That seems so long ago with everything that we've been doing. And I think I'm going to have to uh, get a stone pick. I can't leave these big stones in the field. They're not going to roll in either. So we're going to need to pick this. I want to take that little patch out as well. So look at that drift. That's while it's lowered as well. It's a shame. It's just a really cool looking mod. Lovely model. Um, it's just got some weird physics about it. I've gone up the edge of this, as you can see, and uh, given myself a, an extra foot or two of grass there, and along one side, down towards trees. I'm wishing I took them trees out as well now, just so I could have uh, claimed that little patch. But yeah, that is, uh, is that up now? Yep. Yeah. Let's just skim this corner, just to make sure that we've got all the land that we couldn't use usable. We'll return this and uh, probably go and, it's going to cost us more money again. We're going to lease the stone picker and uh, clear that out. Actually, we're not going to do that. What I'm going to do is set my worker up in here to mow this grass with our, our little beef stock and uh, to mow it without conditioning. Hopefully they're both set up to be uh, without conditioning. We, uh, yeah. Sorry cow, you get driven through. So yeah, that should be okay. That should be okay. And then we'll have some fresh fresh grass, which is what we're after. And where's the unfold? There we go. I have even had a quick look at another meadow price. 70 grand. Oh, I am contemplating it. We just need so much grass. Let's uh, clear that. Give it a new course. Um, oh, it's not on. Sometimes, it just needs to be on a little bit. There we go, now it's picking it up. So generate. And off it goes. So they'll cut that for us. We can get rid of that now, hopefully. When that dump. There we go. <laughs> Fresh grass. Lovely job. Ooh, cows about to escape. Shut the gate. And while they're doing that, our uh, New Holland has finished sowing canola. We do need to make sure that that is looked after as well. So, I feel like it's a little bit erratic, but we've suddenly got a lot of things to do. And we need to roll. Let's just uh, get rid of that for now. We'll probably use it. I believe this one is our field roller. Now with Maze Plus, there's some new tools for grass. So we'll get to use them. Which will be fun. And I think that means we can get rid of the... Uh, I want to call it the Diablo. I'm not sure it's not, not, sure it's not called Diablo. Let's go have a look. What's it called? Uh... Dalbo, there you go, <laughs> El Diablo, the Dalbo roller, uh, because there's uh, a new tool and process to uh, to looking after that. Anywho, we'll uh, unfold this. We'll get the the worker on a course and rolling here. As you can see, that meadow I filled it with uh, <laughs> meadow grass in that pasture. Now if I need to cut that, let's 
so I'm not sure. I don't think that's got our... Oh no, we've still got our, our grass in there. I think I've made that extra thick now. So we've got our planted grass and we've got meadow grass in here. So if we cut that, that's, that could be super thick. Like me. <laughs> uh, what have I done? Right. I've got headlands. Two should give that enough room to turn around, I think. That'll be alright. Three. Let's just be safe. There we go. Start your jobby. And that's its route. In case you're interested, that's what it's going to be doing. Look at that. I was going to go that way. Fair enough. Go wherever you please, sir. Just get the job done. And we're going to jump back in the Lambo. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to worry about getting them stones off just yet. They are going to come off. But I think... I need to get that grass in. I'm going to put some of it in the... Uh, feed troughs and some of it in silage clamp. Oh dear. We need to. Well, should I just put it all in the silage clamp? We'll just fill up that hay. I might just get all my hay and put that in the feed troughs at the end of the episode. I might do that. Because at least this will give us a lot of silage. I hope. Always hopeful. So we shall clear the, f the furthest. I like to work furthest away. And then work our way back in. But that's going to be a big meadow. We've got this meadow. We may do the thing that I said I don't think we will do and uh, combine them all just gives us extra grassland, doesn't it? We need it. So, you know, it's, it's not the worst idea. Now, with the silage additive in this, we should get so much. And I haven't added the uh, overfill mod. I still need to look into that and test it. That's one I want to test before I uh, add it. But that grass meadow there, i point again, 70 grand. That'd be half of our money. Uh, I think it's probably a bit smaller than the two we have. But it's more grass, isn't it? It's more grass. We need it. So that's coming up as... Why is that simple? Is that wet grass? Is that what they're saying that is? Or is it just... don't know what the new symbol is. That's definitely the low wet grass, but I don't think this is wet grass. Oh, it will be wet grass. You've got fresh grass, conditioned grass, which is wet, semi-dry grass, then hay. Yeah. It's just not fresh. It's been conditioned. It's been puffed out a bit. Now, I think we can fill to max with the, with the Lambo. It's five o'clock. I feel like it's suddenly got dark as well, which I'm surprised because it's August. Although it's late August. So I guess there's that. I think I'm going to have to spend the end of this episode getting all of this grass in into the clam and getting the hay into the feed and troughs. I think that's what's going to have to be. I'm going to have to uh, pull a late one. Or I might have to do that over the next day or two off screen. I'm not sure I've got time to do it. Which means we may not have three maples this week. We may go to the regular two. That's what we always had before. I went with three because we've got a bit of an empty schedule. We've got an empty schedule because... Uh, well, me and the boys still aren't right. And 
as I'm sure you can tell in my voice, and how often I have to clear my throat. It's not good. And he's worse, bless him. He's already woken up three times tonight, so it does interrupt the recording. He can't help it. Right. So, help if we use the white control and to. So, is that going in there? That's not. No, I think that will. Silage grass. This silage grass, yeah. Okay. Ah, that's right, because we will be able to mix it now. This will have to be. So, so if we went and. Uh, did some um, chopped corn silage. Whereas before, it all turned into chaff. Now you do have the different. Oh, he's stuck on a tree on his first land. What is that all about, mate? Come on. Go home, you drunk. Hold down. It's not helping me when they don't... When they don't do it right. It's not helpful at all. But hopefully... Set to go and then find where they need to be. Good on you, good on you. Right, let's get back. So, yeah, whereas before you could put all your chaff in, now if you do a whole crop, it'll need its own pit. If we do a corn chaff, and that'll need its own pit. Grass silage needs its own pit. They all need their own pits. So, it's probably a good job we've already got two pits. these things to remember and I was looking at uh, a neighbour's cornfield wondering whether we could afford to buy it as well so yeah always looking to uh, purchase and grow somewhere damn it I just don't make the money now because we can sell it the mill what we may have to do as well is uh, when we're out there sowing our other fields show where we stopped. When we sow on our other fields, I might take those big bags up to the strawberries and set that to unload so that those massive bags can just fill up with strawberries and we'll sell them. Because our brewery is going to take a long time to get through. Bearing in mind, it still has uh, I think like 40,000 litres, I think, in the storage shed. Something something crazy, there's a lot, 40, 50,000 metres in storage shed, and I should imagine we have well over three, four hundred thousand 400,000 in our storage shed at the strawberries. So we've, we've got a lot of strawberries, and we don't need them all. So we might, might set up that, or I could just set the, um, to save us time, because this is a time consuming thing set the storage point to sell for a little while. I've already got to set it to sell for a little while and it will sell everything, so we might do that next episode, I think. <laughs> I had that as a little something at the start. So yeah, we should make some money there. And uh, we'll see what we've got beer-wise. Try and sell that. And next time out we will hopefully be at a stage where still pick what we've ploughed up. We'll sow our grass first because the grass is now a priority and then we'll get to sowing um, the wheat and the barley in the or barley? Yeah, probably just barley for now. Barley in the field um, two fields opposite the brewery and our large field out front one of our newer fields. I can say that'll be beets, and that's not until spring. So that's going to be empty for a while. But there's nothing we can plant and then harvest quick enough unless we grass it, but then we'd have to dig it up to um, put the beets in. I don't think it's going to be worth that time to do that repeatedly. So, anyway, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. 
going to try and get all three of these in that clamp. I'll uh, get the feed sorted out, get that hay. I'll put some of the hay in the robot, I'll put some of the hay in the feed and troughs for, for both um, dairy pastures. I'm going to try and look after these cows so they can make us some milk money. So they need looking after. They were doing so well. So well. See, that's starting to dwindle there as well. And them cows are baby cows. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. Been a little bit frantic. Um, but we, we are playing hella catch up at the minute with Maze Plus. You know, it may, may be a thing that we have to sell 100 cows, 100 dairy cows. Our robot just went, did a feed by the looks of it. Or he's now going out to do a feed. See, there's such a tiny amount in there that it just doesn't do anything for our for our cows so yeah if you have enjoyed it give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find it when your videos go live as always comment some feedback down there let me know what you think about the <laughs> the disaster I've done it's not a disaster it's just a new way of doing it add an um, maze plus in at this stage of an established farm what do you think we should do about our stock? What do you think we should do about land? You know, all the feedback. I love it. Let me know what you think. And above all, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.